I think centenaries can do a number of things. They can reinforce what we know about composers, but they can also enlighten us as performers and audiences about the stuff that we don't know quite so well. I'm thrilled to be starting the Britain Centenary Year with the Spring Symphony because it's a piece which is immensely beautiful and it's quite hard to perform and it's quite hard to project to an audience but I really believe in its beauty. He's an intensely dramatic composer and he's seen as a great British operatic dramatist and the Spring Symphony is a prime example of that so that's why, that's why I'm really thrilled we're, we're giving it here in Birmingham. Of course this season we have Again, repeating Britain's War Requiem, which we did in Coventry last year, we now repeat it in the Symphony Hall. That uses really quite huge forces. Uh, we've got full orchestra and a chamber orchestra as well, who will be sitting at the front near the conductor, plus chorus. And it's just the most incredible music, it really is. The way the harmonies twist and move, I find personally really exciting and often very moving. Uh, there's this bittersweet major minor thing that he does a lot, which I personally love. And you get these really exciting moments where actually you're, you're surrounded by this exceptional sound and you almost, you almost get a moment where you don't quite feel like you're in the hall. You're actually you're somewhere else because you get the spine tingling moments of just everybody 100% working together. For me, his greatest works are for the, for the voice and in the concert we're doing uh, we've got Ian Bostridge coming to sing, the, the great English tenor. And what Britain is fabulous at is setting of words and how the tenor sings the rhythms and the phrasing is fantastic. It's exceptional, you, you can't quite put it into words. Wonderful, wonderful.